Victor Umanski, German Cancer Research Center. Neutralization of immunosuppression induced by chronic inflammation in tumor microenvironment. So good morning everybody. I'd like to thank uh, organizer for inviting me uh, to this very interesting meeting. Um, so we will talk today about uh, the immunosuppression in tumor microenvironment. Actually the um, uh, the uh, breakthrough in uh, modern tumor immunotherapy happened probably in 25 years ago with the discovery of tumor-associated antigens, small peptides. And then we tried to, to activate uh, T-cells, activate immune system in order just to get rid of tumors. And very quickly uh, we realized in the last 10-20 years that this task is not so easy because we have actually in tumor microenvironment, after activation of T cells, the accumulation of so-called bad and good guys. So we have a quite heterogeneity from the point of uh, immune cells. We have uh, immune cells which can reject tumors like CD8 T cells or CD4 T helper cells or NK cells. But on the other side, we have the possibility also for accumulation of immunosuppressive cells and among them the most important are regulatory T cells and so-called myeloid derived suppressor cells. There are also um, other myeloid cells like M2 macrophages or tolerogenic dendritic cells which are now united in the um, so-called regulatory myeloid cells. On top of this so we found that actually um, the inflammation which was considered to be like an activating factors for immune system for T cells so being becoming chronic can uh, actually induce the uh, negative effect on T cells it's interesting that one and the same molecules which can induce immune response like I want beta L6 interferon gamma can actually being constantly uh, long term produced can induce the accumulation of uh, regulatory cells like myeloid derived suppressor cells or T-Rex or um, M2 macrophages. So the aim of the, moreover, the uh, tumor cells can also produce these factors and can produce so-called tumor derived microvesicles exosomes, also converting normal myeloid cells into the normal, into the <coughs> immunosuppressive myeloid derived suppressor cells. Uh, so the strategy of the uh, therapy of tumors could be uh, contain two parts. So one dealing with the activation of good guys, but on the other side we shouldn't forget about uh, the, um, in, uh, the inhibition of suppressors. So, and with this I would like to thank you for attention. 